done lots of team competitions and lots of individual competitions. Have you done many pairs competitions? Apart from uh, team series when they change it to pairs online, that's about it. So, okay. is the interaction any different, like, uh, or is it is it pretty similar to, to team four? Uh, it's pretty similar. Some workouts you get to work in pairs at the games and regional levels. So Jay and I have worked together heaps of times. So it's going to be a bit of fun just being a purely a pairs event. Um, when there's just two of you, is it is it a bit less of you having to be sort of the captain or the coach out there? Or is it more sort of like an even relationship? Because I know with the Frankston team, you sort of assume the, the captain role on the field. Is it less of that? Yeah, I think uh, in terms of strategy, I probably have a little bit more influence there, but sure. once we're out on the floor, like he's just as fit as I am, yep. so hopefully I'm not the one trying to keep up with him and it's the other way around, but I think it's, we're going to go back and forth with that during the workout. What's it like? Because I think most of us are aware that Jay is obviously a, a young, up-and-coming crossfitter who's uh, heavily influenced and coached by you. Um, you beat him sometimes, he beats you sometimes. How does that go down at training? Is it all good fun? Or Yeah, it's definitely fun and uh, we get the banter going and make it fun. And yeah, we, we do a debrief at the end of it, each workout sure. and like have a little bit of fun with that as well, but then take away the things that we actually need to yeah. then become better. So it's not all fun and games, but yeah. we make it lighthearted. Yeah. Talk to me about 20.5. It's, uh, it's an interesting format, not one we've seen. Are you going into it with any tricks or do you think it's actually actually quite simple? I think it's pretty straightforward. Yep. Um, for me personally, I prefer to come off a row into muscle-ups, so sure. I'm going to adopt that strategy rather okay. than coming off wall balls into muscle-ups. Uh, that's just what I think and I saw Velna do that most of the time. Annie was using the row but left a massive chunk of wall balls at the end which yeah. didn't really pay off no. so I think you still need to do a combination of everything yep. and I'm planning to leave a chunk of wall balls at the end a manageable chunk not a huge amount sure. um, that's just my strategy but I also know that I'm going to have to go by feel a little bit yep. during it and have that plan B not just have something set in stone yeah, and, and just adapt as I go through just finally before I let you go um, this is a, a very top level field but it's a unique event because it's not a qualify for the CrossFit Games event, it's not a CrossFit Games. Is it? Is it a unique experience to have that field and effectively all be just going out there to enjoy yourselves? Yes, there's some prize money, but it's a bit of a different feel to an event like this. Yeah, I think so. There's nothing on the line. It's yep. just literally get together, have fun, and that was the initial thought going into this. Yep. Uh, it is a high level, which makes it fun as well. Absolutely, it is. Uh, there's still... Um, I guess some brownie points on the line. Yeah. So you still want to do well, you still want to win, but I think the underlying thing is just have fun and enjoy the weekend. How badly would you like to beat Rich and Royce? It'd feel pretty good at the end, yeah. but they are both very good athletes, yes, so I wouldn't be disappointed if it didn't turn out that way either. Sure. So, yeah. All right, mate. Well, look, best of luck at 20.5 and this weekend. Thank you. Thanks, mate.